most people watching this or listening to this will, will question is, what about my time? Then add on top of that, the attention economy of social media, media and everything else pulling you in all sorts of different directions as well. Everything that I had, any fuel or any steam in the engine just was like, I was burning the candle at both ends and it was like, boom, and then it was like, boom, and then it was like, boom. Does that make any sense to you at all? What? Harry and Meghan aren't lost sheep. They're just snakes. Two Hollywood drifters cooking up another comeback tour. I'm telling you, nothing changes with his couples. Walmart Wallace just cut ties with her friends. Then Meghan the media with a ring, all while preparing for a speech she's going to give in Germany to wounded warriors. About all things, courage. Talk about no shame. Next, Harry's going to headline a charity in the UK one day before the anniversary of the Queen's passing. What a grandson, trying to steal the spotlight from his grandmother's memories. In the meantime, the kings refused any peace talks, and Diana's siblings still won't worship Harry's honeypot hyena. At this point, the Megans are about as popular as a skunk at a lawn party. Yeah, I think the fall of Harry and Meghan is finally starting to happen because when they left the royal family, they were the hottest commodity literally mm -hmm. in Hollywood, in the UK. Everybody wanted to hear their story. I think now people are sick of listening well, to their story. It. In the marketplace of manipulation, Meghan and Harry set up shop. But what they didn't realize, that karma was about to announce a clearance sale. What's going on, everybody? The Megans have lost the plot. They're not good people who are seduced by fame into being fools. They're bad people who are unmasked. Shut up, you ginger fool. Well, you won't get pegged. <laughs> Let me tell you something. This is my real voice. You make me sick. With that orange mop top of yours and your squeaky voice, you are a spare. I would have whacked every gaffer on suits over you. And believe me, I had my share of gaffers. I'm Meghan Markle, and this is the real me. I ate a mop. Hollywood seems to have a new hobby of roasting Mr. and Mrs. Hasbin never was, because Tinseltown's major talent sees the couple for who they are. For example, take Prince Hairplugs. He just debuted his new corporate toupee for Better Up, just as the company was laying off hundreds of employees. The company that uh, Prince Harry is chief, uh, chief impact officer of Better Up, which is a life coaching company, has just laid off uh, about 100 employees. And a few of those employees are grumbling, asking, uh, you know, what this particular individual, Prince Harry in this case, is doing to justify his seven-figure salary. What would you say you do here? I have people skills. I am good at dealing with people. Can't you understand it? What the hell is wrong with you people? Now, do you think the for-profit philanthropist even thought once, hey, hey, let me give up my seven-figure check so these people can continue working? Absolutely not. And the same goes for Duchess Duplicitous. She keeps cutting people off at the knees, anyone who's no longer proved useful in her life. Only the swagger puppets view family as an ATM withdrawal and treat friendship like it was just a buffet. Take a little bit from here, take a little bit from here, and leave the rest behind. I hadn't seen Meghan since, and it all hit the press that Meghan and Harry were seeing each other. So I messaged her and just said, like, hey, I hope you're okay. And she just sent me this really abrupt message. I felt like she'd kind of told me to just, like, fuck <laughs> off, basically. <laughs> that message so i just <laughs> savage so i did megan surrounds herself with monetary meat puppets that she can use and temporary emotional hostages that she can use again to justify all of her public actions relationship expert kate mansfield told the mirror people who value growth and personal development often grow out of friends and connections over the years as they change to the point that they no longer have much in common with old friends Typical postmodern philosophy trash. That's all it is. We do not outgrow family and friends. We grow together. Whether it's up close and personal or at a distance, whether you saw someone you love yesterday, you're going to see them in 10 years from now. Everything else is merely participation trophy, loser mind thing. That's what Megan uses. She employs that so she can use people like reward points at the grocery store. Let's make a fortune. Right now, you have the D-list wannabe Hollywood diva is exploiting her marriage solely so she can secure more headlines. The marriage is troubled. The real reason Meghan Markle took off her $310,000 engagement ring. 
Harry and Meghan are this generation's version of John Lennon and Yoko Ono, minus the talent and music ability, of course. You got dozens of articles talking about why the Look At Me Leech didn't wear her engagement ring. But see, you and I know the truth. We know outside of her marital troubles, which we're going to get to in a second, the only reason she's not wearing the ring is the very same reason she wears a full-length camel coat, 90-degree humidity, the very same reason she wears a stress patch on her wrist just so in time so you could have backwards paparazzi take a picture. The very same reason she has around her 24 hours a day a rent -a mole bodyguard, not only so she can feel insecurely mentally important, but because she's starving, starving for attention. attention. Meghan Markle is the very poster girl for needy narcissists. Commentator Judith Woods wrote, here's the thing, maybe, just maybe, Meghan is simply very cross with Harry. No biggie, no shit, Sherlock. Pardon my language, my friends. Of course, the spotlight seeker is angry. The hustler married a prince who she thought had access to billions and the keys to the kingdom. I'm sure that when Megan had that ring put on her finger on her wedding day, she was thinking inside, Hollywood, here I come. She had to force a royal to beg Disney for a job. I think everything changed when Harry was only able to secure her a voiceover gig instead of a lead in a big budget blockbuster. That's when Meghan Markle finally realized, hey, I made a mistake here. But that day also proved something else. It was a coming out party, not for Harry, but for the hater who betrayed his country. This is just brazen hustling by a member of the royal family to a senior boss of a major entertainment company trying to get his wife voiceover business on the same day he should have been with the Royal Marines in his capacity as the Captain General. Now, like I said, there were dozens of articles and some of them were writing why she didn't wear the ring is because she sent it out to the jeweler to be repaired, that she absolutely loves her engagement. She adores it. It's made up of all her dreams. And for those that believe that, I'm sure there's someone out there who has a bridge to sell you. The ring is, is obviously yellow gold because that's um, her favorite. It's beautiful. And he designed yeah. it. It's incredible. Um, yeah. Yeah. He got on one knee. <laughs> Megan really loves that ring. That's why she's had it repaired, resized, refit, added to, cut down for more than 15 times. She loves it. Let's get real. The honeymoon is over. This relationship is a sham. Nothing more. No one has to continue to say, hey, we have a great marriage. They don't leak that to the press, through their friends, through their representatives. They either are or they're not. It's like really being rich or powerful. You are or you're not. Anyone who tries to pull that off and pose, they're either doing it on a credit card because they don't have a pot to piss in or a window to throw it out of. Make sure it stays on that finger. Of course. <laughs> Unfortunately, Harry didn't follow his grandfather's advice. One steps out with actresses, one does not marry them. You gotta love Prince Philip. You know that he sniffed out Meghan right from the jump. But I have something else to share with you. I discovered something I thought was impossible. I found another D-list wannabe Hollywood diva. That's right. There is a Meghan Markle clone, and it's going to blow your mind. If you want to meet her, all you got to do is watch my last two reviews about Disney Snow White minus the Seven Doors and you won't believe it. And so you're never caught off by surprise again, hit the subscribe button. <laughs> you know the warning signs were everywhere. You're talking about a woman who betrayed her sister, her family, her father, a man who's had multiple strokes and heart attacks, who paved the way for her dreams to come true. And then on top of that, she betrayed every citizen in the UK and the Commonwealth. Hell, maybe that's the reason why her half-wit finger puppet didn't want to return back home. Every single element mm, yeah, of, yeah. of the Japanese culture yeah. is, is really unique and very, very mm. special. I, I noticed it the first, my first visit in uh, four mm. years ago. I would happily live here if mm. you'd have me. Now all Harry does is make a fool of himself on the global stage, all while being prodded by the Montecito manipulator to weasel his way back into palace life.
I think they're doing this whole thing about they want to come back. There was the other week it was they were going to rent a room in, in one of the palaces, rent a floor um, and be there so that they can help. But nobody wants them to help. Emotional damage. You know, no one in the UK wants the couple back. So the king finally took a stand. He decided to give the couple exactly what they dreamed for. He gifted them with a matching set of blank towels. He removed Harry's HRH. So today, the Megans have been downgraded on the royal website, just one hair above Prince Andrew. And you know, when I was doing that research, what I discovered was that Queen Elizabeth was, in fact, Harry's last true ally in the family. Queen Elizabeth never gave up hope Harry would return to the royal fold. His grandmother, God bless her soul, loved him unconditionally, warts and all from beginning to end, like everybody else in the family. She never gave up on him. Regardless of whatever Harry did, regardless how many times he attacked everyone, regardless of how many times he proved that he was more committed to the deranged Duchess and his favorite Xbox player than he was to the bone and blood family, Queen Elizabeth held the door open while she maintained a vigil. One reason there was no push for a change was because the late Queen Elizabeth wanted to ensure that anything her grandson might interpret as a snub or the slamming of a royal door was avoided. Her Majesty never stopped hoping there would be some kind of reconciliation and that the couple would return to the fold one day, says a close figure. One more time, we get to learn what kind of noble and decent human being the Queen was, how kind and caring she was right to the very end. And for me, I think that makes it even more shameful, more unforgivable for Harry to have ever allowed Meghan to mock her. Though I was like. <laughs> Pleasure to meet you, Your Majesty. But what makes it worse is that Harry not only abused his grandmother all throughout her life, but once again, he's abusing her memory through her death. Prince Harry will return to UK for special reason next month ahead of Invictus Games. See, on September 7th, Harry is going to headline the Well Child's Award Ceremony. The dinner takes place one day before the anniversary of Queen Elizabeth's passing. Now, if I were Harry, if I were her grandson, I'd say, I want to help the organization. The charity is one of the greatest. It takes care of seriously ill children. But it has to be at any other time. You want me to stay for months and work, write a check? That's fine. During that week, it will never happen because the press is going to be focused on Harry. And that's going to rob all the spotlight away from the queen. It's going to rob all the people who are paying their respects. And you're talking about that's going to be a week after the Heart of Invictus series premieres. It is here at the Invictus Games that you realize whatever you carry, it was the springboard that propelled you to the next level. See, that Netflix series for the couple is their last throw of the dice. They either sink or swim with it. If it succeeds, they're going to have to hunt down a few more paychecks for the rest of the year. And they need them. How else are they going to pay for the 16 bathrooms in their Montecito mansion? How else is Harry going to sit on his throne and dream about being king one day? And it's never going to come true. But I'll tell you what, in between all that, Harry is going to have his hands full, not with anything he's done, but with a public backlash that's going to be coming from Meghan after everybody learns that she's given a speech at the Invictus Games in Germany. Meghan Markle slammed by royal expert over ironic message about courage and resilience. I got to tell you, the swagger puppets are of the opinion that Meghan Markle is a hot commodity. Not only that, but that she actually has rare words of wisdom that the world actually wants to hear. But Meghan, Meghan is going and she's going to speak to, and it's going to be to the veterans and it's about courage and resilience. And I thought that was rather ironic because she's neither. She's got a point. I don't know what's crazier, that Duchess Delusional is giving a speech to heroes about courage and resilience, or the demand she made for the trip as if she were a Hollywood royalty. Megan has some demands for this visit, and some of them would be up there with the likes of Jennifer Lopez and Cher. Her meals and snacks have all been planned out and are very specific. She also requests for certain air temperature, particular linens and decor for the hotel, and needs chauffeur-driven limos everywhere. Now, just imagine what it must have been like to hear Megan's demands when she was a senior working royal for 72 days if you were part of the family. It's insanity. I'm starting to think that members of the monarchy are almost near saints because their heads hadn't exploded. 
yet you still have her half-wit finger puppet, doesn't understand how his mother's siblings don't see his wife the way he does. Prince Harry was disappointed his family couldn't see Meghan's similarities to Diana. At the end of the day, the Montecito Moochers haven't learned a thing. Harry is going to return to the UK, but he will never return home. For now, we can all be assured that we have a royal with a real heart of gold. My name is Catherine. Okay. Nice to meet you. Have you got a puppy? Well, I haven't got one. Yeah, it's very, very nice to see you. Would you like mine? Yes. Yeah. Oh. You can have my puppy. There you go. See if I can get it out. Yeah. Should I see if I can get out? Yeah. Here we go. And do you know what this is for? It's remembering all the soldiers who died in the war. Fish swim, birds fly, grifters grift, and those with real love in their hearts shine true. All you have to do is remember that we never bow down, we never bend the knee. Always forward. What?